Welcome back, you guys. Have you ever seen a bent trunk lid where somebody just stuffed too much in the trunk and they tried to shut it? Well, something like that happened here. And they're kind of, they're doing the fix, they're putting it in place. Oh, wait a second, you guys. Who just showed up in the building? You gotta step out for a second. All right, this car has been in storage for many, many years. I saw pictures of it. It was completely covered with dust, actually recently. And the owner just wants to get it ready for, you know, normal daily driving. Because it's ready for, you know, enjoying this vehicle. Let's look at it a little bit on the truck. But please, you guys, stick around because I will be showing a startup where it pulls into the garage. And a little bit more video of it. You guys remember that Volkswagen from last week at the end of the day? Well, that vehicle never got finished. And vehicles that, you know, spend at least two years in Michigan, the parts, they can be a little bit hard to come apart. So that's what they're dealing with on this car. Some parts that just do not want to come apart. So the other side is already complete. All right, you guys remember the exhaust that was being made from scratch? Well, it's moving along. It's coming together. It's being put up in place all right let's check out this process here lots of learning going on they're gonna break this apart eventually but at the end they remember that there is an easier way okay so back to the trunk on the Thunderbird are you guys ready to see this fix the metal rod is being screwed in place before they weld it this is a welder that they're gonna be using right here I think it's just a normal welder. Right now they're screwing it in. Just some easy little screws that are self tapping. It's going right in. They're going to be pulled out right after the weld. Right. Everything's in place. That's how it's going to look. Okay, as he's welding here, I think old automotive sheet metal is about 18 gauge, so make sure your settings are set correctly. Okay, now it's been completely tacked into place. Everything is set the way it should. Once it cools down, those screws can come out. And then once those screws are out of there, the job can be finished up. So we're gonna see more of the process. Nobody's gonna let this piece defeat them. I think it might be time for the blowtorch. You got you're close. You're real close. Look at him go. Look at him go. You got it. Yeah, got it's got my fuel filter for 54, the glass one. So what we did, the shop that it just left, is that this breaks in the front. I noticed it stopped though, right? Right. And we put the whole system in. Right. Up front. Where you can get to it. The battle continues with the Volkswagen. Okay, this might not always be the best way, but it is fun. So, it is blowtorch time, and this is going to happen. Uh, not really. Yeah, it's just a normal. I have lost under it. Once it's done, we get all the stuff. And after much work and determination and never giving up, the piece finally breaks free. And there it is. Now they must hose down all the heat. There it is. All broken. Laying there. 
See that? That's the part that was blowtorched apart. Just cooling it all down so they can continue on the work and get the job done. Michael did remember there is a way to tack this bolt in place with a welder and knock it out without using a blowtorch. So it is a learning process and that's a very good thing to have experience. This is a new piece going in. Oh, I can't help myself. You guys got a minute? I want to check out this car. Figured out hood latch is right here. Click. Sadly. My question is, is who owns that? I thought this was a really cool option. This is a bolt-on exhaust. I wanted you guys to see it. This is actually the car that you could hear a little bit ago. This car sounds amazing. It's really, really loud. But look at that. So if you don't want to weld, you want to just a quick exhaust that works really good, that's what this person did here, and it worked really good. He changed out those brackets right there, but other than that though, it's just a bolt-on exhaust that you buy. And it's cool. It made a huge difference. So there it is. I didn't know that they existed. It's pretty cool. Back to the Thunderbird. We're going to check out some progress as it's moving along. Look at it. On the rotisserie. It's like a giant Thunderbird chicken flipping and spinning around. It's cool. So as you see, it's moving along. It's got some more progress. There was quite a bit of progress that was done to the frame as well. But the frame is covered up, so we do not get to see that today. Back to the progress on the Thunderbird trunk. And I cannot wait to show you guys the finished results. Or just, you know, the finish of today's results. Because it is looking amazing. He's making the adjustments so the Volkswagen sits even. I thought the screws were coming out right away, but look at the job. Regardless, trust the process. Let's look at the other side. Nice. 
you're not even going to be able to tell the difference. Look at that. It's not complete yet, but it's definitely on its way there. And it is looking good. I wanted you guys to see it was just a random old bent up piece of scrap steel that was found in the shop. And that is what's fixing the trunk lid over there. You see it right there on the top still? You see it in there, but it is strong and sturdy and it is working well. You wanna see the engine or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, it's just like a brand new right off the lot. I pretty much, yeah, I mean, I usually keep it pretty clean, but every time it snows or rains. There's a sharp V. We got the old and the new. stuff man oh man that is so nice in there oh, I never seen that option with the screen that comes up in the middle like that it was always just like the flip up from the inside one yeah. what are those called Ricardo. Ricardo. Oh, those are cool. yeah you keep it ready showroom ready The Volkswagen is now nearing completion and everything is going back together as it should. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? To me it looks like a lawnmower but it is a race car. For a certain type of a race. It looks scary. If you had a big engine in this thing and it was going fast, I would not want to be ran over by the person behind me. And it does kind of resemble an old lawnmower. It's pretty cool. Just check it out. I don't know if you guys are into old antiques and stuff like that. But I thought it was cool. Alright, after all that work, job well done. Finally, this thing gets to go back to the ground you guys remember this little Ford Focus race car we get to see it in action so get ready Listen to this, this car sounds really good to me and it looks like a lot of fun to drive. Check out this old stock car that they took a bunch of parts off of that was just laying behind the building. This reminds me of the Roush Museum. They've got tons of these over at Roush, but they did tell me at Roush that they tried sending some to the Barrett Jackson auction once and they really aren't worth a lot. So that's why you see it like this. You know, there's not a lot you can do with these kind of cars. It's cool though. Let's just check it out for a little bit while it's back here.
Before we leave tonight, back to this car, I want you guys to know this is the Valentino edition. Look at it. It's like Louis Vuitton almost in the inside. Do you see the close resemblance of that material? Look at all the features that they had in there. This is so old yet so new. This is so nice, but this vehicle is still having problems with the brakes and it is very, very hard to find the piece and it is hard to make the fix but just check out this vehicle i want it to happen it is so cool you guys look at this pure luxury it's like a limo look at it. keyless entry the limo lights and then the super awesome interior it is so nice. This is random, but does anybody know why they would punch holes like this in bodywork of older vehicles? As we're finishing this up today, one last vehicle. This fun little Miata. I like seeing different vehicles, different cars. This is Desmond's. It's a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys for watching today. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.